Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hello from Chesapeake. Um, this is in Maryland in the US and we're at the temple here with Marcus and Tracy and our fire. <laughs> it's very warm. <laughs> <laughs> we're warm. <laughs> and, and the impulse to do this live came yesterday when they picked me up. I'm visiting my mother in Maryland also. I, I happened to, to grow up here for like, I don't know, 15 years, not here in Chesapeake, but in the same state. And I was so like, so touched that this temple is happening here in, in like backyard kind of where I don't have the association of temple <laughs> with my, with where I was, you know, how my adolescence turned out. Um, and then they picked me up from my mother's and we were on our way here and I was sharing how I wish somebody would have talked to me, would have told me about what an impact that holding point for a temple and in the physical realm like all that is involved with the renovations with getting it running also the school like what's happening at Nikola that I wish somebody would have talked to me about the impact that it will have on my body because I have prided myself in having like a body that is like is like a rock in a good way you know like it, it can take and it can hold and it doesn't get sick and nothing is ever broken and nothing you know like uh, I, so healthy and then I said to them in the car I said over the past six months to one year since the whole Nikola project has been evolving and has really you know, taken off I feel like I've aged 20 years and and my body I have aches I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm walking like an 80 year old without a stroller. Um, my mother <laughs> cut my hair a couple of days ago. She said, your hair is changing. And I was like, oh my God. Like, like, yeah, like just the level of impact. And granted, I'm not 20 years old anymore. <laughs> Everybody says that, but you know, it's like, okay, what I could do before I may not be able to do now, but I, that's not the primary thing. There's such a difference between the year before and this year this past year and I feel like I have increased the amount of charge the amount of holding the amount of giving the amount of what comes through me moves through me and and what I'm um, responsible for but I have not increased the body maintenance the taking care of the body the nourishing the body not only I have not increased it but I have reduced it because in that busyness of making sure things mm -hmm. run and making sure things happen, I, I haven't made time. And things are different at Nikola than they were when we were living in the city. So the gym is not across the street. <laughs> you know, I'm walking the dogs, but I'm not doing what I normally do. Getting a, a, a body work session is not so easy as that far out where we are. And so we started talking about this. And this is something that that I know is resonating very deeply with your soul shine mm -hmm. and also what you guys have been exploring. So mm -hmm. we thought we'd share it here because I would have wanted to know about it. And so here's our chance to, you know, tell others who might be facing this in the future or now that, you know, kind of what, what our journey has been and what to look out for. And I know you, Tracy, have, are, are studying this as well. And so, you know, just to have a conversation around this and if anybody at any point has any questions or shares or anything, just put them in the, in the comments and, and we'll look through them. Or if you're watching it in the future, then just comment and, you know, we'll reply. Yeah, because maybe you didn't catch it live, but it's still there. So, yeah, so this is what I said. And then yesterday, thank God, she she worked on my body and she was like yeah what did you say whatever you picked up um yeah it's i mean one of the one of the biggest things that was really interesting was that your body feels like the body of a woman who's recently given birth so there's <laughs> there's there like the recovery aspect of that and and you know i think we know this on some level of like what it what is asked of of all of us as, as we land these temples. And it was interesting to feel that because when we first came here, I was having experiences that were like mm -hmm. these shamanic birthing experiences where mm -hmm. it was literally feeling like my cervix was dilating. 
I was bearing down, I was screaming. There was all of this energy that was, that was wanting to pour through. And it was like this really intense effort. You were witness to, mm-hmm. to many of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was intense. And yeah, and it was like, I, I, I couldn't do anything about it. It was just like this energy coming through and I had to just sort of like surrender to it to, to run in the way that it wanted to run. And there is this, this like calm response of increasing our capacity on the physical level. Cause like we, like my body on a, feels different, like on a cellular level, it, it's totally transformed than it was 11 months ago when we first arrived here. And I imagine you feel the sit, like, mm-hmm. you know, it's like your mother saying your hair feels different or <laughs> like, it's, it's just what the physical, it's this reckoning of what the physical goes through to do this work. And yeah, I feel like it's important to talk about it because <laughs> we, like, we all have these vessels that we need to care for. And it's also um, like a call to deepen in our care for one another as we're, we're, we're doing all of this, we're landing temples and, um, and committing more and more and more and like upping the responsibility more and more and more. It's like, responsibility of like the matter to matter caring for the for the body is um on the physical mental and emotional levels as well yeah so could you talk a little bit more about that about the the physical mental and 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 like not necessarily the distinctions but yeah like how to how to anticipate or approach that or support ourselves with that and of course everybody needs something different you know depending on your constitutions and so forth but yeah, maybe a little bit more. And you also talked about the, the energy body. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, this idea of healing from the, the etheric body, you, like using that really as the vessel to um, commune with and speak to the physical, mental, and emotional. Um, and I think a, a big thing is like a, a lot of the exploration that we've been doing here is like with the, like paying attention to the endocrine system. Mm-hmm. So like like yesterday when I was touching you, I'm pretty sure that was your pancreas mm-hmm. that felt like it was there was like a bit of a contract, almost like a knot. And there's like this, you know, these these points in the body that just are are asking for illumination, like they're communicating to us through pain or tightness or whatever it is and then bringing presence to them and um, the, both the physiological and the psychological components of that. It's, you know, it's always, we, we know that, that it's always communicating with us. Um, but the, you know, the, where the endocrine system, where it's like the channels get blocked and it's like this sludgy <laughs> quality where the energy can't move in the way that it's trying to move. And then you're like, you know, mm-hmm. you're, you're walking like an old woman or, you can't di- like you have like you can't digest your food or what mm-hmm. whatever it is. It's like we have these like physical symptoms that are just these really intelligent markers that are just trying to communicate to us like this needs attention. It needs to be worked with in a particular way. Br- brought presence to um, massage through like getting all the way down into the fascia. Like the fascia is so important for for running current. Like for really running current because it's like that that deep hydration mm-hmm. helps the circulation it helps the 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 blood flow it helps the energy flow it helps like the fluid just to go where it's a clear clear channel and it's like the you know the river banks are not impeded by any resistance or contraction or emotion or mental process or you know overwhelm or whatever is is happening um, on the personal level. It's interesting, interesting too about the bones and the body too, because it's like, you know, Teresa's been doing a lot, of work, a lot of work on my body since, you know, we've been running this temple and it's like the bone structure itself is changing and it's like they crack <laughs> in really strange and different ways and it allows different energies to flow. So it's like the sense of every part of the body actually has to reconfigure. Mm-hmm. It has to like transfigure from the bones, the sinew, the glands like the fascia, the actual cells and, and how they actually organize themselves as well changes. And I feel like my system has completely changed in the last 10 months, you know, to be able to run more current, but also to like be able to heal itself, to like realign yeah. itself 
so that yeah, it can come back into equilibrium and come back into alignment so it can it can run current. Um, so it's been, yeah, it's been a deep journey. And, and, you know, we've had weeks where it's like, we've both been in bed, you know, for like the whole week, you know, just like, you know, so much has been reconfiguring the bodies. Like we just can't do much, you know, and uh, other than let that process happen. And um, yeah, it happens very differently for both of us, but you know, it's, it's happening. Yeah. In its own way. Yeah. And, and this, this for me is like, you know, we talk about it and it's like, duh, Right? Yeah, yeah, like it's, it's like an obvious. Like, yeah, like yeah. we know these things. Yeah. But but in that time, in this past year, I have not actually stopped to think about like, oh, this is what's happening to my matter because I'm so focused on the matter out there. I'm so focused mm -hmm. on, on the nuclear matter. And I'm just, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm relying on a default that's no longer there. I'm relying on a body that no longer exists mm -hmm. or, or, or a pattern in this body that no longer exists because it has gone through all these changes and it has taken an impact that it has mm -hmm. never taken before. And, and at the same time, I haven't been keeping up with my regular maintenance, mm -hmm. my regular, you know, self routine um, that, that I know like soothes and like keeps the, like, you know, it's the oil keeps it running kind of thing i haven't been lubing <laughs> basically it's like i ran out of oil yeah. it's like running your car when you don't have oil you know it's like it will destroy it so yeah. um so i feel like that and i said to you even i said you know i feel like um i was a plump grape and now i'm a raisin <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like a raisin shriveled, shriveled up like juice <laughs> and, and, and it's not that there isn't current but it's just yeah there's a bit of lifelessness so one of the things that I definitely want to say is for sure, if you're going to be involved in templing, whether it's in a supporting or a holding or, you know, however, whatever it is, that to anticipate and to know your body will go through incredible amounts of mm -hmm. transformation and mm -hmm. change. And the higher, I mean, this makes sense, right? The higher you reach up, the lower the roots need to go. Like it, it, there needs to be balance. Like if you, if you broaden the spectrum, if you broaden the spectrum and you keep broadening on this side, this side will collapse. It's not, it's not sustainable. You've got to broaden both sides. And I'm only understanding that like experientially mm -hmm. now, and this can't wait. Like, I, you know, I'm like, yeah, okay. When, you know, when the groups are over, when this and that, it's, it's like, like no. yeah. yeah. And so then yeah. it just stopped me in the group. Like I got this dizziness, uh, the spinning, this vertigo, which I'd never, I had once before, right before a group. And then, Oh, two months later, I got it during a group because it was like, stop, stop, mm -hmm. integrate, like, you know, nourish yourself, stop. And so I was like, oh, man. So, yeah, not taking for granted and, uh, and attending to the heights and the, and the low, the valleys equally. And you also brought up this, well, maybe you share a little bit about, because I was just sharing about how it's been for me and, and you shared yesterday about, you know, there's the, those in the ascending and those in the descending mm -hmm. path and that can mm -hmm. be different. And I definitely am from the descending path and Marcus is more from the ascending path, mm -hmm. we can say. Um, and the idea or the, the longing is of course to, to meet, you know, to, to, to have both. And so how it's been for, cause this is like, let's say a case study <laughs> that <laughs> Trace has been working with, but um, you know, from both of your perspectives, yeah. how it's been. So, so one piece I also wanted to mention was just the sense of like, the, like it's interesting the contrast between Nikila cause it's Nikila's, you know, there's so much happening in the, in the mm -hmm. outside yeah. place of like, you know, renovating the buildings and getting it ready for groups and all of that. And this temple is here, like it's mm -hmm. already built. Like the matter is constructed. So it's like- It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's amazing, such a beautiful place, but it's like our work has really been the inner temple, right? Yeah. Like reconstructing the inner temple and like reconfiguring and, and transferring all of that so it can actually hold the vibration of, of what this place wants to mm -hmm. be. Um, so that, that's been a big piece. And, and for me, as like an ascending, you know, starting kind of there, having that more of that in my system, it's like kind of come more into matter, right? And, mm -hmm. and it's all the ways, like literally through the bone, bones and the fascia and and I'm working through a lot of my emotions too, mm -hmm. being able to feel the things that have been stored in the matter, to like be with that and feel like fully come down, 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 fully more and more. And it's like, I'm still in that process. And there's, there's you know, with the blasts that come, it's like the depths of the darkness and the shadow and the shit that's, mm -hmm. that rises, right? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, and that's, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 you get excited yeah, over it. <laughs> I mean, 
And it's like, it's, it's yeah, you get excited <laughs> about my, like, my, like, I'm limping around. And she's like, ah! and like oh, and I get excited about his shadow stuff. <laughs> and it, you know, it, it, and it's spiraling, it like, comes in, in blast. Mm-hmm. And it's like, when it hits us, there's, there's an impact on the matter, but there's also impact on, on the emotional plan, on the, in, on, to, on the relating, right? It kind of, and the aftermath too, like, yeah. you know, it, it will get a blast through. and then for, weeks or sometimes even months Mm -hmm. where Uh we're dealing or we're like existing in the ripples of that that one blast and then another comes like you finally come up for air and then something else explodes and then and then you're you know you're in the next evolution of whatever is happening whatever is unfolding and yeah yeah, and, and we almost named this live uh, "How to Survive the Blast." <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, it's not about survival, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it feels like it sometimes. Let's just be honest. It does work. <laughs> yeah, but this, yeah. I mean, so I think to me, the, one example is the last gathering that we had, the first gathering that we had in October. Like, what my system wanted to do was like to reach up into like the subtle realms and like, like literally grab something and smash it down mm-hmm. to the ground. Like that's it, like my sister kept doing that over and over again in the circle. You know, we had, you know, fire initiate, like it just like, it just kept on wanting to do that, right? This sense of like fully coming in. And it's trying tra- to land the soul field. It's, it's trying to land the field, yeah. yeah. And, and um, letting, like letting the body move in that way. Uh, I was like, I don't even know what's happening. I don't know what it's doing exactly. Like mm-hmm. the soul is just doing it. Um, but over and over again and, and feeling this energy like trying to infuse infuse the, the temple but the group and and myself as well like with that power um yeah that was a big piece of it and tracy has a you know we have a big polarity you know tracy is more the descending i'm mm-hmm. holding the ascending and it's like where we meet too is like where the power mm-hmm. can um can radiate basically yeah and there's there's also this element of like like being the the fuel for the fire and um how like we've we've had a tendency this year of like to push and push and push until we we you know we we went on this pilgrimage around the U.S. over the summer and when we got back we had been in this like death portal all the way home and the amount of process and energy that was running through my system we came home and I was like if I don't just stop everything right now I'm gonna get hurt I'm gonna like something I could I could feel this like I'm gonna get really sick or I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt myself if I don't you know and it was like setting this boundary of like saying no to the energy or it's or like sort of like almost like dialing back the consent because it there's Mm -hmm. there's a tendency to overextend where it it you haven't given yourself enough time to integrate everything that's come through. And without that integration time, it turns into distortion. It turns into just this, Mm -hmm. like, almost like the, like a greed for the energy, like this, like hunger for, to keep going, to keep going, to break through something and not listen to the intelligence of the body and, and what, what your physical matter is communicating to you. And that, and that was like that reckoning with myself of like, I'm really like, this is, I'm something's going to happen. And and if we don't just like stop everything right now and take a pause, then like that, that's, that's what I'm facing here. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to throw myself into that. Um, So yeah, it's, and it's these cycles, like these learning cycles. And we, we just recently hit another place of that where it wasn't like, we're going to get hurt, but it was like, Mm -hmm. nothing we're doing right now is working. (laughs) <laughs> absolutely nothing On and I knees. like we are yeah. I feel insane I feel <laughs> completely yeah. out of my realm of capability it just nothing like works. yeah nothing works mm. and then Taki showed up <laughs> <laughs> no. um, but yeah just to, to to recognize that these phases come and this pausing like I gotta like I need to pause or I'm gonna get hurt and I know that I I can override that with my first stray Mm -hmm. energy, but Mm -hmm. also because I take for granted, I take for granted how much I've been able to hold it. I'm Mm -hmm. like, oh, it's okay. I can wait, you know, until Mm -hmm. the end of that group. I can wait, you know, like two more, like, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Like, I got it. No. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And so it's been a big lesson and I've wanted to, yeah, I wanted to, to bring this, to bring this to, to others so that, 
you know, we, it's, it's da, it's nothing, you know, science breaking, mm -hmm. revolutionary in that sense, but it's something that most people don't talk about. And I haven't been part of those conversations. So it's definitely essential. And you were mentioning also the, the difference in the rays. Yeah, I mean, these, the way that the rays show up in our, in our physical constitutions and like how the body is a vessel of support for whatever it is that we're, that we're here to do. Um, and it, and it shows up differently for, for everyone, but it's, it's like, you know, and, and also like the ray of the physical too. Um, and it's, you know, for those of us that are like seventh ray or have seventh ray bodies or like, are just more rooted in matter, this awareness that we move energy for the group field in a different way than someone who is of a different constitution. So there's like just the, the, the physical awareness of that, of um, it's a sense of sacrifice and like, but it's also just, it like, it just is, it's just like, it's the way that, you know, we hold or um, just the way that the energy moves through us each uniquely and individually, but also collectively. Um, and yeah, I don't, I mean, I'm like, it's like an exploration. It's it, as, as we deepen in this, I mean, this is like, it's, I'm, I, I nerd out on, on the esoteric healing stuff, but um, there's so much more. It's like, it's sort of like gathering everything that we know. Cause like, we can talk about this and it's like, oh yeah, this is, this is obvious. We know that we need to care for the bodies and that this, this work is intense and um, there's like a certain level of physical stress that happens when you're trying to land a temple or you're running these energies or you're holding a group and, and how we get stretched and the tension is beautiful, but it also can like, you know, pop us. Um, but yeah, it's like gathering everything we know, but there's like, there's, there's something else that feels like it's revealing itself in the process of doing this. And like there, mm. there's a particular technology around like working with the bodies in the way that we physically hold and run and open and um, yeah, and just exist as we, as we land temples. I think part of this too is, is this piece around group initiation and what seventh grade bodies or seventh grade souls hold in a group field that oftentimes is, in, is invisible. Like, you know, especially those of us who are ascended or in consciousness that we don't realize how that is balancing the field, how that's holding, how that's transmuting all these things that are underneath, you know, the consciousness pieces. And I think there's a piece around that of like recognizing, you know, the constellation of rays that are in group, group field and how to work with that and how to, you know, everyone can, can feel and see what people are, you know, what, what they're adding to the field just by, you know, being what their soul is. Um, so I think there's a piece there too. Yeah. And I love what you brought in and what you're bringing in about the different ways that we can support each other and also about the, the, that we don't really know how, because this hasn't been done, mm -hmm. you know, like we haven't been calling in, we haven't, you know, as, as, as humans and as groups, as individuals or as groups, and we haven't been landing temples. Um, we, we haven't been on our own in terms of this energy mm -hmm. that we're calling mm -hmm. in. It's been kind of regulated for us, you know, been kind yeah. of babysat. And now it's like, no, gloves are off. Up. Yeah, yeah, gloves are off. So it we don't know. And and it would be foolish to think that the body, the matter would not be severely impacted. Not that's not a bad thing, but that it would not, you know, have a response and it, that it wouldn't evolve and change and morph in the ways you described mm -hmm. earlier. Um, yeah, and so the, the fascinating thing for me is to just document, but you know, be aware of what's happening. You know, this is our first year, both of us is in the first year. <laughs> so baby's <laughs> only been one year. crawling, <laughs> not even. Um, <laughs> kind of flying over <laughs> um, but, you know, to, to, and then pass that on and, and collect from others and get it be in this conversation with others who are involved in temples and, and, and how is this impacting your bodies and, and, and what is happening? And yeah, because different constitutions, different mm -hmm. yeah, realities. 
one of the things you pointed out to me yesterday after my session was that my usual anchoring, which is my base, which is my, you know, my pelvic area is my, mm -hmm. like, and it grounds me and it has felt like a sack of bricks in the past, but it's just like, so there's so much density and there's so much like down. And I've taken that for granted. And it's like, there's stagnation, there's calming, there's so much more moving through. And yeah, of course I'm gonna get the spinning, mm -hmm. you know, because it's not coming Your down. Point, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and she was like, okay, you're like one of those- it's uh, Like a spinning, spinning top. top thing. Yeah, like, so yeah, just to, um, yeah, just to, to recognize that, mm -hmm. to not take for granted. And, and also in the morphing, I have no idea, like, my hair is changing. Okay. My mother's Every been step. cutting my hair for 44 years. So I was like, she's like, what? <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's real. It's tangible and real. And from the beginning, mm -hmm. and not just because mm -hmm. I didn't take care, like, like mm -hmm. you will go through these changes. It just may hopefully not be as painful, or you won't end up in bed or, you know, with a spinning or with something broken or whatever. Yeah, it's humbling. It's like the reality of it is there's a there's a deep lesson in humility and all of that because it's yeah it's like the the body will literally bring you to your knees if if it's <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah and 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 this is something like I try to like warn people I'm like not warn but just like it's not a warning because something bad's gonna happen but it's like. If you put your money in temples, be prepared that the money piece will be worked. Like you will be purified around this. Like not like that, not like a magic wand. <laughs> no, that I know, but no. like through like yeah, a lot of pain, <laughs> a lot of process around purification. If you're gonna hold point mm. for a temple, be prepared that this temple is going to be impacted. You know, like there is a mm -hmm. you know micro macro thing that yeah. you get impacted, and yeah. it doesn't and it doesn't stay like you know like just in that like if it's about money it stays in the money of course everything is worked because everything is related but just that just by saying yes by not just but you know saying yes and and stepping in you are giving your consent to be worked mm -hmm. because you're now a vessel you're now an antenna you're now a portal you're now mm -hmm. you know that representative of and so you will be worked and most people will say yes. And then they're like, oh, is that what that meant? Wait, I didn't, I mm -hmm. didn't realize that it meant that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, it meant that. Mm -hmm. you know, your relationships, your sex your life. Everything. Death. <laughs> Death. <laughs> we, Death. We were talking about the sex thing yesterday. Let's just say, let's just name this now. Let's just name it, right? We were like, well, I was saying, you know, all the, of Timo and I's like sexual energy and 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 arrows and juice not all of it this is an exaggeration but the overwhelming majority of it is going to creating this temple mm -hmm. to sustaining this temple right now it's in that that birthing or has just been birthed and now being you know breastfed and changing the diapers and waking up every two hours and you know that that whole process and it's all going to that um you know and we know it's a phase and, and we love each other and we're very attracted to each other. And then it's like, well, where's the energy, <laughs> you know? And and you yeah. named, uh, what did you say after the, the, the sex part? You what named I something. Said? I don't know, I'm trying to remember, but I don't remember right now. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> but, but you named something else, like, you know, that all the things that will be impacted. So yeah, there's, there's a lot mm -hmm. that will be yeah. put on the altar. It's like draining. All of it. Yeah. you know, taking the life flood and, and it needs to be rejuvenated mm -hmm. if it's gonna, if it's gonna keep getting given, keep being given. Yeah. yeah. So thank you. <laughs> um, if any questions or comments come up, please share them. Please uh, like this page, Nikola page, and also the Chesapeake Temple, if you wanna stay in touch with what is happening in the different, the Chesapeake temple is in the US, on the mm -hmm. East Coast, in Maryland, and Nikola is in Finland, and there's temples uh, being seated and, and cultivated in different parts of the world. And, and also, if you just wanna be also in the, in the loop about soul emergence and all the different aspects, whether it's more the embodiment part or the ascending part, mm -hmm. the meditation part, and so forth, all of that, you can get that through both of our, um, pages and we're, we're very very lucky to be a part of this mm -hmm. yeah. very very um 
a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is in no way like, oh, yeah. complaining, but it's like, okay, take note. Just reality. Yeah, yeah. Reality check. The blessed reality. Yeah. Like the blessed <laughs> reality of waking up every two hours to change the diapers or breastfeed, you know, it's a blessed reality. <laughs> so yeah, like that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>